sensors online. Weapons online. All systems manual. We are in the Hunchback 4P. All medium lasers, I've got eight of them. Eight medium lasers. It's a classic build, very classic. Medium pulse lasers would um, also be a very good build. But I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling classic today. Going old school, all mediums. It's a lot of fun. Heat management's good. It's just a, it's just a solid medium mech, and we're just gonna be playing that second line support role today. Maybe getting into some some um, brawls. Alpha. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Looks like we got a Viper target Alpha on top. No, oh, there's a, there's a couple lights on top there. So we're gonna go ahead and take the, the the top here and see what happens. We've got a couple of our lights up there as well. We do have a stalker to my right moving up the ramp. Looks like these lights are really giving in hard. The Viper is actually hurt. Oh, there is a Wolfhound as well, and their assaults are moving up on both sides of the ramp. I my left <laughs> my left shoulder is already damaged. I haven't even begun the match yet, but I took a uh, pretty good hit from a gargoyle. There is a gargoyle that has it out for my for my life here. But that Viper went down. We are focusing. Wait, wait a second. There's a Timberwolf on top as well. They are really already up here that quick. Timberwolf has uh what was that i can't couldn't tell if it was srms or streaks but we're gonna focus in on this bridge here and kind of keep them from coming up as long as we can keep them down there we will have the advantage from above and that's what we want keep them at bay annihilator target kilo is moving back as well so we have an annihilator to my left a fafnir to my right along with a marauder 2c they are trying to push up as hard as they can that Marauder, we are going. Oh, it's a regular Marauder. My bad. It's a regular. It's a Marauder 5G. It's got a heavy PPC, MRM 30, and four mediums. We just want to stay as long, alive as long as we can. We're gonna move forward just a little bit. Oh, I'm pulling out. Sorry, Mad Dog. That Fafnir is just pegged me pretty. Well, he nicked me actually. One to two. They are ahead by one. We need to make some moves here. Cataphract is moving up on top. Oh, be back down. They are trying to make their move here. The Cataphract, though, we're going to focus on that CT. His CT is wide open. One more hit, and the Cataphract will be down, but I doubt he will make the move back up here. If he does, I will catch his... I will get that kill, but he is not. He's, he's making the smart decision and moving back, so we're going to go ahead and push forward. We are tied 3-2-3. Three, three. Cataphract is down. The Mad Dog took him out. Uh, let's see. Wait, what's that? That gargoyle is going. He's running down to to support those lights at the bottom. We're actually going to go over here, and it's four to four. We are neck and neck. There are uh, what is that? A mad cat? I don't know. It was a mad cat down here. The gargoyle was going to catch up with the mad cat, but mad cat turned the corner. Where is that gargoyle at? Oh, there's a wolfhound right there. We need to watch our heat. Our heat is. I am. Oh, you know what? I should have been doing 4 and 4, but I had my weapon groups on 6 and 2. That's why my heat's a lot higher. The last match was Frozen City, so I, I grouped 6 of them together. Oh, he just took off my left shoulder. Luckily, it wasn't my right. You, you got the wrong shoulder, you dummy. We're going to jump down here and just... <laughs> probably a very dumb decision, because I'm not... I don't have a good... I'm stuck. Oh, there I go. <laughs> oh man, not bad though. 444 damage for we are in the match for four minutes. That's roughly a hundred damage a minute. That's okay. Mad Cat, ooh, Mad Cat's going down. Yes, he goes down. Oh, that's a, a Spider Vanguard with three, with four LRM 15s and one ER medium. Ugh, I don't know about that. Looks like the gargoyle is the only one left, but this vanguard could seem really to care less, so. Gargoyle is down. We uh, made the, <laughs> that gargoyle really took us out there. I was, I was being clumsy. And I need to regroup my energy weapons here, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Eight assists, 
the KMDD, we got 444 damage. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this video started. It is Hunchback 4P Day today. See you guys in the mech lab. Hey everyone, welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and hope everyone's having a great day. I know I sure am, especially with this mech right here. Okay, so this is the Hunchback 4P variant, the 4P. Now, I've I have basically done every Hunchback and Hunchback 2C variant that there is. I've already done them all, but I've said this before. Sometimes I will go back to mechs, mech variants that I haven't done in a very long time and I'll re, I'll re showcase them because it needs to be redone. The Hunchback 4P, I did a video on it almost two years ago. It's been a very long time. Maybe almost, maybe, I know it's well over a year. Probably almost two. It's been a very long time since I've done the Hunchback 4P and it's time to redo it. Um, so yeah, there's that. And there's some mechs that I'm going to redo. I try to do new variants. But the Hunchback is just such a great medium mech, I'm never going to be done with it. There's always time to showcase a Hunchback. And the 4P, if you like your energy weapons, this is definitely a laser vomit medium. So yeah, that's I chose the 4P right off the bat. I saw it, and I, I actually didn't have it. I uh, had to rebuy it, but... We're running this thing pretty close to stock anyways, because the good thing about the 4P is that you don't really need to upgrade it too much, although I have do have quite a few enhancements, and I did tweak some things around, technically this thing is close to stock than it's ever gonna be. So, good thing about the 4P and Hunchbacks is that they're very cheap and very reliable. Just a few things, you want to make your heat management uh, decent with the 4P, and it's not that hard to do. Uh, honestly, you don't even need to use double heat sinks with this. I'll show you why here in a second. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the Hunchback has such a cool. This is this is probably one of my favorite medium mech designs. The Hunchback, the first hero mech that I ever got. And actually, it was almost one of the first mechs that I ever got when I first started playing this game. Was the Grid Iron. And that's actually, I don't think I've done a video on that. I ended up be doing something stupid and selling my gridiron years ago. I don't know why I did that, um, but I sold it and I never was able to do a video on it. At least I don't think I've done a video on the gridiron. I'm not sure. Maybe I have. I, I don't know, but if I do, I need to redo it. That's definitely a mech I want to redo. But today we're talking about the 4P. As you can see, it's definitely got a huge, in its right shoulder right there, that big ass hunch, it's got a ton of energy hard points sitting right there. That's your most important part on this mech, that right shoulder. And of course, I am sporting the Davian paint job here, because uh, I went Davian recently. Ghost Bear is definitely uh, out of the picture now, and I went with uh, one of the great houses, and uh, it was a tough choice. It was Davian or the FRR for my main account, and I went Davian. So, we are Davian loyalists now. Not that it even matters, but there is that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Of course, the Hunchback is a 50-ton medium mech, so I like doing mediums a lot, if you haven't noticed. Mediums and heavies are like my thing. Um, okay, so <laughs> the Hunchback 4P comes with the whopping nine energy hard points a whopping nine energy hard points holy crap so most of those are going to be in your right torso there you've got six energy hard points in your right torso you've got one in your head you've got one in your right arm and you've also got one in your left arm there so that is a total of nine this is definitely a laser vomit mech and it even comes stock that way yes uh, I actually, uh, it, it came with all medium lasers, I think seven or eight, and then it also came with one small laser in the head. Right now, I am sporting a total of eight medium lasers, just eight. I've got six of them in the right torso, and I've got one in each arm. So I do have a free energy uh, spot in my head, but I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Um, basically, we are working with a standard um, 200. Now, upgrading your engine might be something you want to do if you're wanting to go with a different type of build. Maybe large, uh, boating large pulse lasers or PPCs. Um, if not, 
if you're fine with 64.8 kph i'm fine with it i'm going to keep it as is standard is fine with me um but you know having a hunchback going 80 kph is a lot of fun too just to, just depends what you want if you've got the c-bills to spare go ahead and do it uh, but uh sometimes i like sticking with standard engines on certain max and the hunchback is one of those max because i do have that right torso that is sporting all those lasers and you don't want to lose a side torso with an XL engine and a lot of pilots are going to be targeting your hunchback four piece torso because they see that giant ass energy uh, pod there and they're going to want to take it out and it happens so there's that upgrades I'm only working with Indo Steel. I am not doing double heat sinks because right now I have 18 standard heat sinks and my heat management is 1.47 if I were to switch to doubles, I wouldn't even be able to get to that high because my mech would be too full. So the standard heat sinks, actually something that you want to use on this. Unless you're using, uh, unless you're not using a bunch of medium lasers, if you're using some, a, a few heavy weapons, then you could do double heat sinks. But using double heat sinks right now would be almost pointless because I wouldn't even be able to fill it up to get to this heat 1.47. I wouldn't be able to do it. I could get close to it, but then again, it would really be a waste of 1,500,000 C-bills. So sticking with those standards, I do have quite a lot. I do ha I have 18 standard heat sinks, and it is a lot. But, um, you know, it already comes with quite a few. So yeah, and medium lasers are only one ton apiece. There is something we need to talk about. Um, the biggest thing that I focused on was my uh, firepower uh, skill tree. I got everything that I could, literally everything that I could in this skill tree right here. Um, so that's really going to help with my with my heat, my cooldown, my range, my armor bonus, my structure bonus, my laser duration. It's, it's gonna help a lot. And uh, th there's a few things you don't need to use, like missile spread, of course. I don't need velocity. Um, I really don't need magazine. I don't need magazine capacity. I don't need any of that LBX. Nothing ballistic. None of this is gonna help me. So uh, everything that I focused on was dealing with the weapons that I do have. So I filled this whole thing up, and it helps a lot. It gave me quite a bit more range on my medium lasers because going with ER mediums is also a decent idea, but they are a lot. They're they're more hot. Heat management with ER mediums will drop significantly once you start stacking those guys together. But medium lasers and large lasers not as hot so I have a minus 12% cooldown I have minus 10.5% heat I have plus 15% range so a good amount of range on there I've got a plus 6% armor armor bonus I've got a plus 25% structure bonus I did focus on part of my survival tab there and I focused on skeletal density uh, we've also got laser duration of minus 15% and a minus 7.5% uh, critical hit chance so um, the laser duration minus 15% is great. The 25% structure bonus is awesome. My plus 15% range is good. And the minus 12% and minus 10.5% cooldown and heat is awesome as well. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's such a good, good standard mech. Of course, hunchbacks are second line mechs, but with certain builds, you can play like a frontliner and really get in there and do it. I like to stick next to the the heavies and the assaults and kind of pair up with them and uh, take down enemies one by one. So we do have one more thing to talk about. It is our armor points. In my CT, I have 59, six rear. In my right torso, I've got 63 points. We have plus 21 extra points in our right torso because our left torso only has 44 points. So our right torso naturally is going to have the most amount of armor points because of our precious weapons here. We have 33 points in our arms and 42 points in our legs. That is it. That's our heat management is 1.47 out of 2. You can't get it. Well, you can get better than that, but it's such a good heat management. It's, it's really good. I can fire... Uh, usually I like to group eight medium lasers four and four firing the four together it Should give you a high heat spike, but it really doesn't when your heat management is as good as this is and it's not the best But it's it's good One point almost 1 1.5 out of two is great heat management now when you're playing on maps like frozen city or polar highlands 
or cold maps, I actually can group six of these medium lasers together, fire them at once, and then fire the other two on a separate weapon group, and the heat is fine. And that is actually a devastating blow there. Medium lasers do not take these for granted. These together, when you have eight or nine of these bad boys, can really be a game changer. Now, one more thing, our range on our medium lasers, medium, excuse me, medium lasers, normally, max range is 540. I have a plus 81 next to the max range. That's giving me well over 500 and uh, well over, um, excuse me, well over 620 meters there. Our optimal range is 270 I have plus 40 next to my optimal range that has given me a 310 optimal range which is a big difference between 270 so I can be doing max amount of damage at 310 meters which is a good range to be away that's a good amount I'm not that close I am that's getting there but that's still at the same time it's uh, far enough away so that I can actually you know get to some cover if I need it I think we covered everything. Uh, of course, medium lasers do five points of damage. The alpha is 40 points. Um, not bad, not bad. If I'm doing close to 40, and it's just, it's a 50, it's a hunchy. You gotta remember, it's a hunchback. Now, I've seen some crazy builds. I literally just saw, what's that guy's name? Molten Metal, Baradol, whatever his name is. He literally just did a video on the 4P. Um, I was on YouTube like five, like, five minutes ago and he did a build with this that uh, I think it was six light PPCs he put six light PPCs in his right torso so I don't know what that's about that's crazy I mean I, I'm guessing that's a cool build but I'm not def I'm definitely not doing that so anyways I love the hunchback you should love it too. show it some love they are cheap go buy one right now go ahead and buy a 4p just do it right now go ahead and get that thing and do uh, whatever you want with it but medium lasers you can't go wrong it's a classic inner sphere build it's a classic inner sphere mech all hell Davian let's get into a match see you guys on the battlefield The Hunchback is a respected and feared reunification warrior street fighter that has been in production since its introduction in 2572. Built for urban combat and close range brawling, this battle mech has the heavy armor and weaponry to stand up against any foe in the dense cover of a city environment. Its heavy armament does come at a cost, in terms of maneuverability and heat dissipation the Hunchback is merely average while the lack of long-range weapons means the hunchback is little more than a slow-moving target in the open. In an attack the slow speed of the hunchback forces it to participate as part of the second wave, exploiting any weaknesses in the enemy's armor after they've been softened up. The hunchback was originally designed and produced by Komiaba, Nissan General Industries and sold throughout the inner sphere and periphery, often fielded as part of medium and assault lances. The company was destroyed in the succession wars, but the hunchback continued to remain popular, especially in the arsenals of House Uraitu and House Liao where it fit the dueling nature and all or nothing combat styles of the two successor states. Eventually Kaliyama Weapons Industries bought the rights to the hunchback and restarted production at their factory on Kalidaza to supply House Marek with large numbers of the mech. Dwindling stockpiles of spare parts and personal preference led many owners to remove the Hunchback's large signature autocannon and typically install smaller weapons in larger numbers in its stead, resulting in a variety of variants collectively known as Swayback because of the significant change to the mech's configuration and torso structure. The rediscovery of lost technology in the years prior to the clan invasion inspired a number of old designs to be upgraded. The Hunchback included. Under contract from the Free Worlds League military, Kaliyama engineers designed a variant, the HBK-5M, which sought to improve upon the original while still maintaining the soul of the machine. While the new variant included several improvements, mostly involving extra protection against ammunition explosions and overheating, to the chagrin of many mech warriors this came at the cost of reduced ammunition for the autocannon. Their objections ignored. 
production began in 3046. The new variant came into widespread use throughout the FWLM until Operation Guerrero, when this drawback was responsible for the failure of several advances. After this, Kaliyama finally produced a new variant the HBK-6M which addressed this concern. In the years since, Norse Storm Battle mechs opened a refit line to produce new hunchback variants and the mech saw use on both sides in the Jihad. We are dropping into Frozen City and the Hunchback 4P. So, uh, yeah, let's. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave six. Last match didn't. I overheat. Oh, well, I almost overheated because of the fact that I had left. Um, six medium lasers on one weapon group. I am doing that on this one because it is a cold map and I can actually get away with it on this map. But, um, <clears throat> I would recommend if you do have eight, eight or nine medium lasers, doing three or four just on one. Um, that seems to work fine. So, yeah, even with me shooting those six right there, not that bad. Um, so yeah, this is already, I like it when this happens on Frozen City, because I already know that we're going to go into a nice brawl here. Both teams are heading towards the center. This is going to, um, go either way. We don't know. We don't know. We are heading in. They are heading in. We shall definitely see how this goes. But I feel I, I feel confident in this mech and with this build, although they are only medium lasers. You really cannot um, underestimate these things, especially when you have so many grouped up. It's uh, and the skills definitely help. If you can get those fi that firepower that firepower skill tree unlocked, most of it, it's really gonna help. Having that duration shorter on your medium lasers means you can shoot, you know. It's less time, less face time. You can shoot, get to cover, shoot, get to cover. You don't have to stick out as long. The only thing I would say with this would be, uh, it would be nice to have a higher speed, but I not really feel an XL, especially with this right torso. The big hunch, the energy pod. Um, because it has been getting taken off. I, uh, some pilots will target your right torso on the 4P, and with an XL, that's just not going to work. New target acquired. So, not risking it with an XL. Now, if it was a different hunchback variant, then yeah, maybe. New target acquired. But the 4P in general is just one of those special variants. Alright. Two Fafnirs. Look at those guys. Side by side. Three Fafnirs! We got three Fafnirs on this team. So that should already be a plus for us, especially in a close range like this. If they are carrying heavy goss, three Fafnirs with heavy goss in close quarters with the enemy is going to be devastating. And, um,. Nope, got a Hunchback 2C. He does see me, so I'm gonna go ahead and back up. King Crab. Nope. Alright, so we're gonna... Four to one. Looks like we are taking the lead very quickly here. He's gonna shoot this Marauder right here. He is going down. The Marauder is down six to one. Oh, this is gonna be one of those quick ones. We are gonna annihilate them. It's already happening. I'm gonna try to get out of this group here. I hate being clustered up like this. I cannot stand it. Alright, what do we got? Looks like we have a Kodiak. Alright, we just 
took the Kodiak out. Looks like we also... Oop, to my left there. Need to be very careful. Storm Crow. Uh, Cataphract. Oh. Pull back, pull back, pull back. They're right in front of me. Oh, that Cataphract. His CT is wide open. I think the Cataphract's down. We're going to take a shot at this Marauder 2C. And we got him. Nice. Just getting those lucky shots there at the end of their ropes. That Storm Crow is fighting for his life. Well, yeah. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. That was very, very quick. I think we had the upper hand with those three Fafnirs. It was a very quick one there. We did have the upper hand, though. Um, although they did have some heavy lances. They also had some heavy lances. We just took the lead. It was quick. Two, uh, two kills, seven assists. It was a very quick match, under four minutes, um, and that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just totally annihilate the team. Sometimes it's a more drawn-out fight, but that one was completely on us. We destroyed them. Let's play another match. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Okay, last match. We are doing Canyon Network. Eight medium lasers. So this time I'm only grouping four and four. We're not doing six since this is a hot map. Well, it's not as hot, but it's hotter than the maps I was playing. So four medium lasers on one group, four on the other. That's basically it. Adding a ninth medium laser would not be a bad idea. I just have been running with this. I'm kind of stuck with it. But yeah, that extra five points could definitely do 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 something. Um, and yeah. And having that 310 max optimal range is very nice. Target acquired. Any amount of extra range is acquired. nice. That's uh, that's all I'm going to say. Having your optimal being as far as you can with doing max amount of damage is great. I like that. So I've got my mediums at optimal at 310, which target which acquired. stock is 270, 310. It's quite a bit of difference. New New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Alright. Let's focus here. We have the battle master down in the pits. Looks like our team is off to the left fighting at that corner there. But I am actually, well, I do have some lance, lance mates around me. I'm trying not to get hit from the side here. I know some are in the alley. I also know there are some up, up on top uh, to my right. There's a roughneck down there. New target. Along with, oh, two roughnecks. New target. Uh, they all jump down in that alley there. So, um... There's uh, well over half the team is in this alley. What do we got on top over here? Let's take a little peek here and see who's out here. Looks like we got a Marauder coming in. Marauder 2C target Alpha, but he saw me there with his large pulse lasers. Really not trying to fight Alpha when he's on full health. It is two and one. We are ahead by one. We're gonna take another pop at this guy. Oh, New target acquired. I forget that. Uh. I have lasers in my arms, so we're gonna jump down here. Take a no, no, no. That is a. That is all pulse lasers on that marauder there. Looks like he's backing up because his left torso kind of got hit pretty hard. I'm trying to get back up here. I'm trying to get that marauder. That's what I'm trying to do. It's three to two. We're gonna go back up here, and if I can get this marauder, I'm gonna go for it. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, give me another shot here, baby. Got him. All right, we just took out that Marauder 2C. I don't know what he was thinking. He should have jumped down. We got this Roughneck on the edge here. He is going at it with those... Oh, his auto cannon's gotten taken off, and I just overheated. Big mistake by me. I should have uh, only fired half of those. Um, and I need to back up now, because I am in some big trouble here. So we're going to run. We got one of our lasers taken off. Our left torso is gone. Luckily, they didn't get our right, but my CT is bright orange. I am literally 
almost down, but we're gonna fight as long as we can. Oh, 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 Annihilator's coming in hard. I don't think I can take him. Oh, a CT is open. Let's take another shot at the Annihilator. Annihilator is down. He is down. It is 6-3. to three. There is still a good group of them left. I need to be very cautious here. We're gonna take a shot at this Jaeger mech. He is down. Take a shot at that. Oh, he's down as well. It's 8-3. to three. There is a Black Widow over here in this corner. Gonna go for this Black Widow. Oh, of course. One second too late. Turning it back around here, and we're gonna take out the rest of these guys. It looks like we got a Phoenix Hawk, Highlander 2C, and... Uh, something else. I don't know what the other thing is. It's a locust, so we got a Highlander 2C, a locust, and a Phoenix Hawk. New target acquired. I don't know where the Highlander 2C went. Probably around this corner. Target acquired. Oh, target the Phoenix Hawk is acquired. out in the open. And there goes the locust as well. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! It is way too hot. Oh! Phoenix Hawk! I totally missed. Oh, that was a uh, pretty good map, 12 to 5. All in all, 426 damage. Uh, one kill, nine assist, solo, KMDD. We did pretty well. Uh, 4P. Great laser vomit build. It's just a lot of fun. Very, very cheap. Very strong. Uh, buy yours today. Go ahead and buy it. Guys, we will see you on the next video. It's been a lot of fun. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Fuzzy Nova, out.